The best part of my job is still that it's all about mountain bike, about cycling and uh, I, I'm still in the family, like the cycling family, I'm part of it, I can, I just have a different role now. Ich hatte in einem Teil immer schon ein Steliden-Typ und ich habe schon gleich gehofft, dass sie irgendwann mal in die Fußstappen auch als Trainerin würde, würde einsteigen würde. Das Hafiel, das war schon speziell. Ich meine, das war ein wirklich grosser Durchbruch. Als ja, Weltmeisterin, Weltcup-Siegerin, Schweizer Meisterin, Europameisterin, alles zusammen. Das war wirklich ein und so. Wenn ich jetzt zurückdenke, was wir alles erlebt haben, zusammen auch, die Hausfamilie hat es angefangen eigentlich hier, im Haus. Training dann rund auf der Strasse, Sackgasse, immer viel können machen können. Und dann ist es losgegangen eigentlich mit, mit diesen Rennen. Wenn ich jetzt so schaue, hier ins Album hier. Das erste richtig schweizerische Rennen war in Wienigen. Es war im Bernbiet, es hatte geschneit. Und, äh, 96 oder 97 A normal day in my life is like I get up, first I have a coffee, it's really important, that's my fuel for the day. And then I normally do some office work in the morning, then in the afternoon I have quite often some coaching to do in Bern in the Swiss bike park. About Grenigen I really like it's you have everything in town, like you have all the shops you need and then it's really close to Ara which is a bit of a bigger city and you yeah you if you want to go out or having dinner or something it's really close or also for me always the thinking was I have to be close to the airport because I travel a lot. <laughs> Compared to my to the career of my dad, it's the, the biggest difference is for sure that he was never a pro rider. I grew up, I saw him uh, teaching all the kids, all the young riders, and also he al always um, told me to try to get the education done, the coaching education, and uh, I started to do it. I liked it, and for sure I learned a lot from him. This year I'm racing the Shimano EP8 engine. It delivers smooth and direct power. Uh, the riding feeling is super natural and it feels like riding a normal bike. We are here in Dieseltis in the Swiss Alps uh, at the Katrina Resort and we have a team weekend here for families and kids, so we are teaching people how to ride a bike and uh, it's actually the perfect uh, place to do this because we have so many single trails and you climb up, it's mostly quite steep but you always uh, get rewarded by really amazing views. We met first time in a, in a youth camp where I was there as a, as a coach and she was like 16, 17 and uh, yeah, one of these kids with a lot of potential and uh, that had a lot of fun on the bike. And yeah, from that um, moment on, our path always uh, crossed somewhere. And uh, then she started to be in the Merida's team, where I was also riding on the Merida bikes. And uh, later, yeah, I always uh, have been in contact with her, riding with her. And actually what I said in 2017, she joined then our team. We were really lucky to start um, last year together with Catherine and some other riders at the e-bike uh, world championships and uh, yeah, really happy about the outcome with the second place for Catherine there. And yeah, for this year um, we invested a little bit to get more knowledge and uh, I hope we can also see her again on the podium uh, in Val di Sole at the world championships. Katrin and I have the little kids today, so we're teaching them how to improve their skills. 
Katrin Stunemann is for me not only a teammate, or she was a former teammate, but she's also a really good friend and we are close. We often do stuff in our free time together or we also have the same passion that cycling and it's really cool to share this with someone you like and yeah we help each other we we help each other in life we help each other with the profession and that's really cool i learned a lot from her but i think it's also that we are a good team and if she has something missing i have the other part and that was a good combination for both of us and as i said it's a good friendship I lived always in Grenichen and uh, I grew up in this club and I always really appreciated the racing here because I mean it's a horse category race and uh, also sometimes we had Swiss champs here. I even became Swiss champion here my very first time which was really special and um, I always knew that it's so much work for all the volunteers and the organization and for me it was like I didn't even think about it, it was just clear one day I have to be in the organization too when I stop riding and now I'm there. So from my point of view the future looks bright too because I see a lot of young talents coming up and uh, my job now is to fill their backpack with all the information and tools and skills they need to have to, to become actually a world-class rider.